playing? Are we rolling? We're rolling. Okay. Hey, I'm Allie from Allio.com and we're here with Austin Jones. What's up? You just played a set. That's right. First Boston show. Mm -hmm. How was the crowd out there? The crowd was great. Um, I've never played Boston before, so it was a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, how long have you been playing music, and when did you know you wanted to do this? Um, I started about four and a half years ago, and I didn't start playing shows until about three years ago. And um, I don't know. I knew I wanted to start doing this when like going to school wasn't fun, and I was like, hey, music's really fun, so I want to make that work. Um, so yeah, I guess that's like. What I knew I wanted to do this. So how old, how old were you when you started playing music? Um, I started when I was like, I started really late. I was like 17. I wasn't one of those kids. I was like, I started when I was 13. I got my first acoustic guitar. Five. Yeah, no. Well, I used to like play drums a lot as a kid, but yeah, I didn't start writing my own music until I was like 17. Yeah. How old are you now? I'm 22 years old. I don't know about you. <laughs> you got that for one year. That's right. I listened to it at midnight on my birthday. When you turned 20. When I turned 20. I'm not kidding. Yes. Are you kidding me? What are your favorite songs? Um, my favorite lyrics. Well, um, I really like "We'll Fall Together," uh, just because like a lot of people relate to that song. And um, every time we play it live, a lot of people like sing back, and that's a lot of fun. Um, I like the lyrics in beauty vocabulary because they're really like witty. You know, it's hard to give someone a compliment and like not have it be a compliment that's like over said. Like, oh, you're pretty, cool. How unique is that? You know, and I feel like beauty vocabulary has a lot of like unique compliments in the song. If that makes sense. Yeah, they're all like yeah, like little like little lines of compliments. That's right. Uh, what's one thing about you not many people know? Um, some people know it, the ones that like to stalk my life and keep up with everything I say, but I used to, um, I used to be a dancer. <laughs> Snapping little pics. Sorry. I used to be a dancer. I danced at a dance company for 13 years. Um, I did mainly, I can't talk, I did mainly tap and hip hop. Um, but I also did jazz and ballet, um, and yeah, I grew up my entire life like being on a dance company, doing dance competitions, and yeah, and now here I am, like part of the like alternative kind of scene. It's really weird. Like, can you imagine if like Ollie Sykes or like Austin Carlyle, like yeah, they were on like dance companies for 13 years. Like, you know, you don't expect it. Um, so I think that's a little fun fact. Yeah. Why is an awesome show something that we need to come see? Um, I don't know. I think it's a little different. I like to interact with the crowd a lot. Um, during the set, like in between songs, if people have questions, I will literally answer them on stage. Um, when she saw it earlier, um, sometimes it gets overwhelming because you have like all these people asking questions at the same time. But I think that's cool. Um, also, at this level, who knows if like if I start playing bigger shows, I might not be able to do this. But right now, I do like free meet and greets after the show, um, and I meet like every single person. Even if the venue kicks us out, we have to go out in the cold. Like I want to meet everyone that wants to meet me. So I think that's another cool reason to come to shows. And uh, you get to see my dumb face and hear me sing some some stupid songs. And if your life was a song, what would be the title? Like, do you need a title or a title? Um. Okay. It would probably be a song called Constipated. Okay. Um. No, it would probably be a song no. called Constipated It'd be because. A part two. Okay, uh, it would be a song called Constipated because, like, I feel like musically and with my life, I have all this stuff building up, and I'm just like waiting for it to all like blast out. You know what I'm saying? Like poop. So I'm just like, I've got, I've got all this momentum. There's all this like stuff sitting there, and it's like just waiting to come out. It's a metaphor. It's a big metaphor for constipation. Like, musical careers. Constipation. I'll wait for that song to come Yeah. Terry release isn't worth the everlasting scars. 
because it's really not worth it. And uh, another little quote that I like to tell people, I don't drink alcohol, I've never drank an alcohol, um, I find no reason for it. Um, if people do, that's cool, I'm not like, I don't want to change their lifestyle, like everybody does it, it's fine. But I just, I think that life is way too short to have to live in an altered state of mind to enjoy it. And uh, that's another little quote that I like to look by. I came up with both of those. I should like, <laughs> trademark those before someone steals it and puts it on a shirt. But, yeah, those are little quotes that I like to look by. And we're gonna play this with that. Okay. Probably this early Okay. Christmas or Halloween? Christmas. Coke or Pepsi? Coke. Coke all the way. Thank you. Yeah. No, don't get me Pepsi. I don't want Pepsi. When I'm at a restaurant and, and I'm, I'm sitting down there and then I say Coke, and is Pepsi okay? I'm like, no, it's not okay. I get up and I leave the restaurant. I don't even want the food because Pepsi's not okay. Pepsi. Get me Coke. I'm kidding. I drink Pepsi also. Yeah, Coke's number one. Yeah, Coke's number one. Coke beats on Pepsi. One's under a tent, the other one isn't. <laughs> yeah, one's under a tent. Oh, yeah, no, fair. Like a fair, like a carnival. Circuses are weird. I don't like circuses. Fair. Yeah, no, I don't want that elephant. Get that elephant out of here. You didn't know what it was. I love elephants. And the trash. Pancakes or waffles? Pancakes. Popsicle or fudgy fudge? Popsicle. I don't like fudge or chocolate. Or... So you're a vanilla. Yeah, I'm a vanilla dude. I love vanilla. Uh, what websites can we find your music on? Um, my Facebook page is facebook.com slash Austin Jones Music. Uh, my Twitter is at I am Austin Jones. My Instagram is at Austin. Um, my Vine account is just Austin Jones. Um, my YouTube, if you just search Austin Jones on YouTube, you're going to find it. If you just search Austin Jones on Google, you're going to find all of it. I'm on Google. Everyone's on Google. You're on Google. If you search Ali up, you're going to come up. <laughs> and anything to say to your fans? Um, I guess, <laughs> I guess uh, just thank you for your continued support and um, like you make all of this possible. I didn't really like where my life was a year and a half ago and now life has become really great and really fun and I'm finally happy and it's all thanks to you guys so thank you for your continued support. It means everything to you. One of the students. And that's it. Thank you. Thank you.